Good morning, St. Thomas More. Sorry for the long announcements. We're going to try to be quick today, but we got a few more to go. Uh, first of all, today's the day the healing process begins, and part of that is our return to a regular, normal routine as much as possible. So I just expecting students will be in full uniform. We focus on academics. We've got final exams uh, bearing down on us, so we got to get uh, focused on our academics. And just to anybody who's, who's not fully ready for that, if you're struggling, as always, please reach out to any caring adult, but especially to the great or any member of our great, awesome student services slash guidance department. They would be w very willing and able to help you through this terrible time. <clears throat> um, I think at this point, we all just need to move forward and think of things one day at a time. Um, one more thing, just to, to close off the tragedy of last week, I want everybody to know that the contents of the memorial outside of Yakub's locker was delivered yesterday uh, to the family. And they wanted, me to, they wanted me to tell you how much they appreciated the outpouring of love and support by all of you and how overwhelmed they were with the, the number of items which were delivered to their home. So uh, I just want to thank you uh, on behalf of the family for, for your outpouring of support and love and not only for them but also for each other. And I'm looking, for a good, looking forward to a good week. Have a great Monday. Good morning, Good morning, STM. My name is Nika. And I am Grace. And, and we, we are from, from the Diversity, Diversity Committee. Committee. Today we celebrate Martin Luther King Day. Martin Luther King Jr. was a Baptist minister and a well-known civil rights activist who had a great deal of influence on American society in the 1950s and 1960s. Martin Luther King Jr. was born January 15, 1929 and was assassinated on April 4, 1968. King will be remembered for his leadership in his many nonviolent protests <laughs> to end segregation and his famous I Have a Dream speech. He was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964. King's short life was filled with great accomplishments. He worked tirelessly to promote equal treatment of all races. He was a great man who made history not only in America, but the world. And we honor him today with one of his inspirational videos. Thank you, SCM. If you want to be important, wonderful. If you want to be recognized, wonderful. If you want to be great, wonderful. But recognize that he who is greatest among you shall be your servant. That's a new definition of greatness. By giving that definition of greatness, it means that everybody can be great because everybody can serve. I was one of four six-year-old children, girls, to integrate the public school system here in New Orleans in 1960. When I look at the Norman Rockwell painting and I see myself, I always say that the lesson I took away was a lesson that Dr. King tried to teach all of us, and that was that we should never look at a person and judge them by the color of their skin. I crossed a picket line, a mob every day for a whole year. There was a woman there to greet me. She did everything she could to make my day fun. She not only taught me, but she read stories to me. We played games. I knew that if I got past the mob and inside of the building, I was gonna have a great day. And it was because of her. So she showed me her heart. And I began to realize that there was no way she was like the people outside. I couldn't judge her the same way. And so I believe at that moment, I learned the lesson that Dr. King died trying to teach us. My father said an individual has not started to live until he or she can rise above the narrow confines of his, his or her individualistic concerns to the broader concerns of humanity. He would certainly applaud the fact that our nation has set aside a day where we can become more other-centered rather than self-centered and really focus on uh, the broader concerns of humanity because that's really the person that he was and the way that he lived. 
Nothing's insignificant as you're celebrating the King Day. Remember, you are important, you are significant, and you have something that you can offer to make humanity a better place. Good morning, STM. My name is Maria, and here are your announcements for today. Computer Programming Club will meet on Monday, January 16th from 2.45 p.m. to 3.45 p.m. in room 204. A reminder to all cheerleaders of the mandatory meeting this Wednesday right after school in room 338. That's right, this Wednesday in room 338. See you there. This message is for all students with an IEP. Please check your school email for an important message regarding final exams. If you have any questions, please come to room 217. A message from More Science. Are you interested in the healthcare field? Are you hungry for some competition? HOSA is an annual contest for secondary students that helps individuals acquire knowledge, training, and leadership skills required to be future pillars in the healthcare industry. If interested, drop by our first official meeting this Wednesday after school in room 333. And now for your sports. Last Friday, our junior girls participated in a tournament at Bishop Ryan finishing in second place. It was an emotional tournament as the team fought through some injuries. We host our next game today against the Cathedral at 5.30. Come support your school team. Thanks, STM. Good morning, STM. My name is Mason Jovanangeli. And I'm Marilla Runko, and we're here with a quick student council announcement for you. Just a reminder that tomorrow, Tuesday, January 17th, is the last day to submit your guest forms for prom. They must be handed into the student council office by 2.30 p.m. tomorrow. So if you haven't already, go down to the student council office and pick up a form if you're hoping to bring a guest. The link to fill in your prom table will be out soon, so make sure you follow us on Instagram and TikTok at STM underscore council for more updates and reminders. One last thing, if you ordered a crew neck, please swing by the council office today on your lunch period to pick it up. Thanks, Knights. Have a nice day. STM, those are all of your announcements for today. The time is now 8.23, and remember, it's a great day to be a Knight.